Hi everyone, we're here at the courts again today and we're back getting back to basics. So we've got a really easy grid set up. We've got Sophie acting as a passer, Dakota um, down on the transverse line. Now this is more of a team drill, so there'd normally be a line of um, players behind Dakota. And what we want to focus on is outside turns. So outside turns are so important in netball. We want to land on our outside foot and really turn our hips quickly and make sure our hips are always facing down the court so we can really then address which is the best option for the next pass. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Dakota to head out towards the yellow cone but not actually touch the cone. So Dakota's going to head out and she's going to land on her left foot. Okay, we'll do that again. So yep, really emphasize that left foot. So you notice when she goes around, she's kind of catching the ball out in front. She lands and then she now that's really important for body efficiency. If she caught on the inside foot, okay, she'd have to do a reverse pivot, which is, is not very efficient. So we'll just do that one more time from the left. Great, and she can look down court. Well done. Okay, so now we've got Sophie and Dakota set up together down there. Um, normally in a team situation, we'd get them to move to the one side, so they'd maybe do three on the left, and then they'll move three to the right. So let's just see this in fast motion. Remembering outside foot is so important because the ball's away from the defense and it's also really good for movement efficiency. All right, here we go. So now we're going to see it on the court. So we know how important the outside foot is for our younger players. It's really going to help them improve their game if they're landing on that correct foot. Now we're going to see it a bit more second phase play. So on the court, Dakota's acting as a wing attack. Sophie will be the centre and I'll run down as shooter. So the important part is Dakota's going to get out. She's going to turn her hips, look down the court. Sophie's going to be obviously hitting the top. I'm going to come out as the shooter and we'll see what options she has. But it's really important she lands on her left foot. She's heading to the left and opens those hips wide down the court to see the depth in her second phase play. All right, here we go. 